bullet struck little Grayson as he was just sitting in his car seat in northwest Atlanta. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live now at the Fulton County Courthouse. Um, Rebecca, I understand today's hearing actually involved a possible plea deal. Well, that's what we thought, Joy and Rob, but we just got some new developments moments ago, and I can tell you that it turned out it was a hearing for one of the defendants to try to sever herself from the other defendant and be tried separately. Take a look, because one of the defendants, Sharice Ingram, is out of jail on bond awaiting trial. She stood a little bit earlier as the judge was calling roll, asking the attorneys if they're ready for today's hearing. And let's give you some background on the case. It was January January 23rd of 2023 when Carrie Gray called 911. She had just parked her car outside a food mart store on Anderson Avenue in Northwest Atlanta when people in two cars drove past shooting apparently at each other. A stray bullet struck her son, six month old Grayson, killing him as he was still strapped in his car seat. The next day, DeQuasi Little was arrested in the boy's murder. And the day after that, Sharice Ingram turned herself in. Police didn't think she pulled the trigger, but still she too was charged with murder. And eight months later, a judge let her out on bond to await trial. It looks like she did not have a criminal record. And back here live, I can tell you just before we went on the air, the judge granted uh, the ability for those cases to be severed. The judge also agreed for a new indictment. The uh, other defendant, the quasi little, is now, he now has a gang charge tacked on to his other charge. The judge also agreed for a continuance in the case. So the trial will not start a week from now, as we originally thought. We'll let you know when they indeed do schedule a new trial. Live in downtown Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News 